Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive, Doing Time. Data we've obtained from the Department of Correction shows correctional officers at the ACI are working more and more marathon shifts, 32 hours straight. This comes as the cost of overtime for correctional officers has been on the rise. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with his exclusive findings. Imagine getting to work at 9 a.m., then leaving at 5 p.m. the next day, 32 hours in a row. Our investigation found hundreds of correctional officers are pulling these massive shifts every year. Being a CO at the Adult Correctional Institution in Cranston isn't some laid-back gig. Um, it's a very difficult job. And we're in a, you know, in a, in a different world here. And Working eight hours alone at the ACI can be grueling. How about four eight-hour shifts in a row? 32 hours straight. Correctional officers call it working a quad. It is considered a biological necessity. It's not an option. Dr. Jared Minkle is a sleep study expert at Rhode Island Hospital. It's very hard to sustain attention when you're sleep deprived. Your mind will start to wander. You get what we call micro sleeps where your brain will actually try to sleep a little bit even while you're awake. Data obtained by Target 12 shows the number of four eight-hour shifts at the ACI, or quads, is on the rise. In 2016, correctional officers worked more than 1,900 quads. In 2017, there were more than 3,100 32-hour shifts. And in 2018, there was a whopping 4,200 quads worked by correctional officers. Of the roughly 960 correctional officers, 355 worked at least one 32-hour shift in 2018. Why? What, what happened between 2016 and 2018 It would go up so dramatically? Um, not hiring anybody. We didn't, hire, we didn't put any classes on there in that period, and, and it's the number of people leaving. Richard Ferruccio is president of the Correctional Officers Union. He says officers are often frozen in for one additional shift, meaning they are forced to work due to short staffing. Our problem is straightforward that if we didn't have the ability to offer these triples or quads, then we are going to freeze more correctional officers in. COs who work between 8 and 16 hours of OT get paid time and a half. Anything beyond that, they earn double time pay. Last year, payroll records show 21 officers took in more than 100 grand in overtime alone. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Department of Correction says any employee working beyond 16 hours does so voluntarily. They are not frozen in for that long. We do not force or even encourage people to work quads, but because it is contractual, there is little that can be changed. Ferruccio says there has never been a safety issue as a result of someone working 32 hours straight, but there have been consequences. You have seen uh, members of the Brotherhood, correctional officers, fired because they have fallen asleep in their third or fourth shift? I, I have. We also had correctional officers falling asleep on their first shift, and I'm not proud to say that. Um, it's not something that we support, we tolerate, you know, it's, it's not acceptable. After somebody works a 32-hour shift, they have to go home. Would you want to be on the road with someone that's worked that long? No, absolutely not. By contract, officers can't work beyond 32 hours straight, but they only need eight hours off before they are allowed to work another marathon shift. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. And our exclusive Target 12 investigation, Doing Time, continues on Eyewitness News at 6. And new at 6, we look at other states' overtime policies and find that some put a tighter cap on how many hours correctional officers work in a row. New details now in a Target 12 investigator's exclusive Doing Time. As we revealed at 5, correctional officers at the ACI are working more and more marathon shifts, 32 hours straight. And new at 6, we learn other states put a tighter cap on how many consecutive hours their correctional officers can work. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with what he's uncovered. The union contract with correctional officers at the ACI allows them to work four eight-hour shifts in a row, and they only have to take eight hours off before doing it again. But we looked at some other states and found some limit correctional officers to no more than 16 hours straight. Correctional officers call it working a quad, four shifts in a row, 32 hours straight at the ACI, and the numbers are on the rise. In 2016, correctional officers worked more than 1,900 quads. Those numbers rose to a whopping 4,200 
32-hour shifts in 2018. What happened between 2016 and 2018 it would go up so dramatically? Um, <clears throat> not hiring anybody. We didn't hire, we didn't put any classes on there in that period, and, and it's the number of people leaving. Union President Richard Ferruccio says correctional officers who work these long, voluntary shifts may be preventing other officers from being frozen in, meaning they can't go home due to short staffing. So if we were going to negotiate some language to limit the number of, of triples or quads, um, we would have to come up with some plan to replace it. Otherwise, we're going to freeze more correctional officers in. There is also a financial incentive. Ferruccio says any time on the clock over 16 hours earns a CO double time pay. Target 12 checked with several New England states on this issue. In Maine, the union contract caps time on the clock at 15 to 18 hours, depending on the facility. In Vermont, it's no more than a 16-hour shift. And in Massachusetts, a spokesperson tells us there is nothing written in policy that restricts how many hours our officers can work. But in practice, we don't allow anyone to do more than 16 hours. And there are a lot of parallels between sleep deprivation and, and uh, drunk driving, um, including the inability to really know how drunk you are, how impaired you are. Dr. Jared Minkle is a sleep specialist at Rhode Island Hospital. At a certain point, does a body, could a body just shut down on you? Absolutely. We sometimes call it a sleep attack, right? So if you're, if you're sleep deprived enough, there's no amount of willpower that can really overcome that. All I can tell you is that in my 35 years here, we haven't had a correctional officer that was on a 32-hour shift driving home that had, a, had an incident. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Department of Correction says any employee working beyond 16 hours does so voluntarily. We do not force or even encourage people to work quads, but because it's contractual, there is little that can be changed. Ferruccio tells me when the 2019 numbers come out, he thinks there will be fewer 32-hour shifts because they have beefed up the ranks of correctional officers at the ACI. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. And we're also working in-depth coverage of this Target 12 investigators exclusive online. Right now on WPRI.com, Target 12 investigator, investigator Eli Sherman breaks down payroll costs across all Rhode Island State Departments and reveals which agencies spend the most taxpayer money on overtime.